enjoying your lunch? What are you having for lunch there? of walking in the Austrian Alps and in Europe in general is the marvellous collection of mountain huts they have. In this case we're at the Freisenberg House which is at two and a half thousand metres and these are in no way similar to a mountain hut that you might see in, a, in, in Australia and you can come up and stay in the hut. This one's made out of the local, local stone. We're in the Zillertal Alps in Austria uh, it's raining lightly at the moment, as it tends to do in the mountains. And as you come over here is the Sun Terrace, which not too many people are out on the Sun Terrace today. So let's go inside and we'll have a look and see what we can find inside. So come on. Now with regard to accommodation, let me just go up the stairs here. Um, there's two sorts of accommodation. All huts have what's called a matron's lager or a dormitory style room. So here in the so here we are in a dormitory type location, you get a bed, a nice mattress, blanket, doona, pillow for the night, and you must supply your own sleeping sheet, which you would put it down. And these are all lined out in a row. Very comfortable and warm accommodation. Many huts also have a private room. And this is an example of a private room. These typically will, will sleep about four, four people and usually have two double bunks. So we've got a bunk there with a little bit of space and two more bunks there. This is the men's washroom and this is fairly typical. You've got a series of basins, cold water only in those basins. We've got some toilets through there and here is a shower. Many of the huts do not have showers but this hut does have for which there's a coin in the slot operation. So that will give you about three minutes of hot water. So I'm speaking to you from, from our room, the Zimmer. Lovely evening, beautiful view, bit of cloud around. And I'm just looking forward to going down to the dining room for our dinner for the evening. So the best thing about these mountain huts they have here is you don't have to carry any of your own food or drinks up here. Here we are, we've got the spicer cutter. That's the menu is for the Frozenberg house. So we'll see what's on the menu in here. So we've got a whole section here, alcohol-free drinks, so juice, lemonade, etc., mineral water. But of course it wouldn't be an Austrian alcohol club hut without a selection of beers, hot drinks, tea, coffee, hot chocolate. And then over here we've got a cold menu, snacks, warm, a warm menu here. And this is the, the main menu here, which has such Austrian specialties as uh, uh, noodle soup and uh, house sausage, house worst with sauerkraut and uh, noodle, a dumpling. There will be soups and of course there will be some cakes as well to go with your chocolate sweets over here. Kaiser Schmarren is a uh, popular dessert that they have here literally means king of pancakes. It's the breakfast over here, full stock, and you can get all of this so you don't have to carry anything up here. Come up here, eat and drink to your heart's content, which is exactly what these people are doing behind me. In the Freisenberg house at dinner time. <laughs> <laughs> So we're here in the Freisenberg house uh, with Flo, is the hut warden. He, he runs the show here. So you get many visitors? Um, yeah, we got good day business now in summer and about up to 4,000 people per season staying overnight here. 
So and now to 100 people a day in mid-season, which is July, August, it's pretty busy. Uh, it's a bit more easy of June and September, depending on the weather. This year we had loads and loads of snow, but now it's turning into great summer, and yeah, probably we're having a good time here. And do you have many Australians come here? Well, you guys this season are yeah. first Australians, yeah. but I bet we get some, and I hope we get some more. Hey, well, thank, thanks very much, Flo, and we'll see you around. Okay. Right. In the hut here we have a hut book, and this is a visitor's book. This is where everybody writes in, where they've come from, when they've arrived. Now, as you look through these books, you will see them. by far the majority of visitors are from Austria or Germany. The odd Brit. We looked through this book and found somebody from Australia back in 2009. Any other countries in here? Yeah, Netherlands. Oh, a few from the Netherlands. Belgium. Belgium. One from Korea.